Hey there Stampers, this is Sherry Roth with Stamped Treasures and I am finally ready to do a tour of my new craft space. So I'm here with you to share this space with you. Now for uh, those of you who may not know, we recently downsized and so that meant my craft space needed to downsize. So our before this I had what I called a studio, it had a classroom setting. I basically had our entire basement. So I went from an eight to 900 square feet space to about a 200 square foot space. So you're gonna see um, a lot of it looks the same if you guys are familiar with my other space and I will link the um, the tour of my previous craft space in the, the description so that you can check that out if you hadn't seen it. Um, so you're gonna see a lot of the same stuff but I, needed to condense quite a bit and I did do some big purging. I did get, a rid get rid of a lot of stuff. So anyways, I'm gonna flip the camera around and we'll go ahead and get started. I'm just sitting on the stairs because it leads into the basement. So let me just stand up here. Look at this beautiful window. Well, it's an old window that I added some um, transfers to. Okay, let me switch you around here. Okay, so this is heading down the stairs. And I shared a peek. I'm, I just have to, <laughs> I don't want to fall down the stairs. So I shared a peek at this the other day. So my family bought me these beautiful picture rails with these gorgeous, or these great letters so you can change out. It's like a wall letter board. I will link to where they got that in the description as well in case anybody else is interested. So that's on the wall as you come down the stairs. And then... Just go down a little further here. I've got this little display. Now some of my displays I haven't quite finished yet. So this is a sled that had some shelves added to it that we brought back from Europe. And it's such a great display. So some of those things are things that were gifted to me, some things I made and um, yeah, more to come on that. Okay, so the, what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna pan the whole area, span the whole area so you guys can see. Okay, so you come down the stairs, I've got a little bit off to the right here. This leads to our laundry room, which I'll share a little bit more on later. And then here, so this table, when I go back to in-person classes, this will be cleared off and one table for four people will be here. And then there's the space there. Now this is a shared space, so that's my crafting space and this is our rec room, okay? So when I go back to in-person classes, there will be another table here for four more people. So I'll be able to accommodate eight people, which is significantly less than in my last, last craft space, but that's okay. All right, so here's what it looks like from this angle. My husband made me these gorgeous picture shelves that I stained last weekend. So I still wanna get some greenery and play around with the display on there. Okay, so let's do a little tour. That's the space. So when you come down the stairs, off to the right, we've got this cabinet. So if for those of you who had attended my previous space, this was the coffee cabinet where the coffee maker was. So I've got my catalogs on top, a little bit of a display, and then inside, is just a bunch of stuff. You will see that I have used every inch of space that I have. So I've got some magazines here. There are some larger kind of tools. I've got a laminator, a long reach stapler, um, a long reach crocodile. My order forms are there, extra catalogs, um, extra card stock, um, laminating sheets, and then some business supplies. Um, hole punch, you know, just kind of random things that I needed to find a home for. So that's what that cupboard holds. I'm trying, trying not to move the camera too much. I don't want to make you guys dizzy. I've got a display with some recent scrapbook layouts. And then on this table, this table, like I said, when I go back to in-person classes, there won't be anything on it because I'll need it. But right now it's got things that need to get done. So this class, that's classes that need to be mailed out. This is my holiday catalog pre-order that needs to be, stamps need to be assembled and put onto magnet sheets and labeled. This is an upcoming class 
that I want to start working on. I've pulled, a, pulled aside some of the supplies that I'm going to be using. So it's going to be an All About Me album. 52 things all about me. It's important to document those, um, document ourselves as well. So you can look forward to a class like that coming up. These are all of my catalogs that need to be labeled and mailed out. Hopefully that will get done. I'm hoping by the end of the weekend, if not next week. Next month's treasure chest, that those projects need to be planned. August's um, Christmas club, that's what, we're, what we plan on using. This is July's Christmas Club, which I need to cut and mail out. And then we've got my countertop. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar, well, first of all, most of my furniture is from Ikea. I love Ikea furniture for this type of thing. So these are their kitchen, cab uh, kitchen cupboards. In our old place, I had 14 feet of countertop and cupboards, whereas now I've only got eight feet. And I kept the two banks of cupboards with drawers because you will see when I share what's inside those drawers, how much these drawers can hold. If you are looking to redo your craft space, I highly recommend Ikea kitchen cabinets with the drawers because they store so much. They're pretty good quality and the price is relatively inexpensive. So I'm really, really happy with them. So we'll do the top of the counter first. So here I've got these, this tiered, these tiered baskets. This bottom one holds cards that need to be, the back needs to be stamped. They need to be um, categorized and then filed. This is just miscellaneous stuff. So I've got my stencils, I've got my pastels, just anything that I wasn't sure where to store, I put in there. And then this top one holds my extra clear blocks and then some gifts for orders, which I need to restock. This bin is my to do today bin. So that those are the things that need to get done today. And then I've got a photo of my husband and I in Thailand, a trip thanks to Stampin' Up. Behind here, I've got a jar filled with um, our Stampin' Spritzers, lots of different colors. And then this, I'm actually not sure what this is intended for, but I picked it up at HomeSense uh, in the bottom drawer. I've just got some random um, punched out pieces that I want to use for different projects. So this used to be overflowing, but I purged when we moved. So now that's just the beginning. Here are my embellishments. That, those are embellishments like rhinestones, gems, those kinds of things. I've got doilies in here. And then I've got clothespins in here for displays. And then tape dispenser, post-it notes. I use the Stampin' storage units for my ink pads, my Stampin' blends, my Stampin' write markers, my ink refills, and any kind of bottles. I, oops, sorry about that. I added this here so that when I do my videos, everybody knows I'm Canadian. And then here, this is something that I picked up from Amazon. When I craft, it's really important for me to have everything within arm's length. So this holds kind of all the miscellaneous things that you need. Um, so there's multi-purpose glue, there's bone folders, there's scissors, there's my take your pick tool, there's a stapler, uh, my water painters, my wink of Stella, pens and pencils, an eraser, you know, chapstick, because you always need chapstick, those kinds of things, that's in there. And then I've got my e-cutter and my current notebooks that those are the ones that I always grab. My label maker always has to be handy because that's my go-to go tool for me. And then my planner always sits open on my desk so I know what's going on. So that is the countertop. So let's go back to the left bank of cupboards here. Now just keep in mind that I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, an active Stampin' Up! Drum demonstrator. This is my business. Um, so this is my full-time job. And because I'm an active Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I generally keep only what is current. So that's what I have planned my space around is the items that are current, okay? So I don't have a ton of stuff that has long been retired. I usually purge that at the end of the year, okay? All right, so here, this is ribbon and washi tape. So I found, actually, when we were living in our Airbnb, 
um, for those six weeks. We happened to have a Goodwill just down the street, and my husband loves those kinds of stores. So I went in there a couple times with him, and I found this great wood storage bin that holds ribbon perfectly. And it was a steal of a deal. I think it was 4 or $5. It was crazy. And it fits perfectly in these drawers. I'd love to find another one so that I can have another row of ribbon and then washi tape. Um, because I know that this ribbon is going to fill up. We just retired a lot of ribbon and I got rid of a lot. Um, but I know that this is going to soon fill up. And I really have to be careful because I don't have space to grow into. So this, my space is like maxed out pretty much. So I really have to be particular about what I order and um, what I what I use. All right, so that's that drawer. Um, washi tape, we don't currently carry any washi tape. Um, and I did have a ton. Like I had a whole drawer full of washi tape before we moved. I did purge a lot of it, but I couldn't get rid of all of it because I do love washi tape and it comes in handy. So I allowed myself to keep two of these bins. So these are bins from, or storage, like zipper pouches from 31. And they hold quite a bit. And I love that they're clear. Plus it makes it easy to just grab and toss in my bag if I'm going to crafting somewhere. Um, so I'm allowed myself to keep two of those. Now you can see that I've expanded a little bit. These ones I've been using, you know, with my stamp and cut and emboss to hold things down. This one I couldn't get rid of because I just love it. It's cacti. It's so pretty. Um, and then I was gifted that just recently. So, I mean, they're you'll find that not everything is going to fit in that space, but I'm going to try to keep it pretty close. Okay. In this drawer, again, just random things. And I've got them really well organized so that I know exactly where everything is. I can just quickly grab what I need. Um, and again, everything is within arm's reach. Everything is right where I sit and craft. So I really love drawer organizers so that everything just ends up doesn't end up like a, a mess in a drawer. So this is one of the drawer organizers that I have. Inside there are my watercolor pencils and these are some swatches that I did up during a video one time. So I can always pull those out and refer to them if I need to. Extra adhesive is here. Date stamps, blending brushes, embellishments that come in those little bins. Um, and then hole punches, my crocodile and extra pair of scissors in there. All right, next drawer is my stamp drawer. So this is all of my stamps except for my new holiday catalog order, which is up there. And anything that was Christmas from last year, I have another way, another place that I've stored it. So all of my stamps, you can see that I don't have a lot of room to grow into. <laughs> so as... As I work in this space and you know, after I've been here for a whole year and we've gone through a couple catalogs, I'm kind of curious to see how this is going to, to change, but we'll see, we'll see how it goes. The other thing that I did need to find a different storage for is my punches. So in my previous studio, I had picture rails hanging on the walls with my punches, but because this is a shared space and we will entertain here when we can start entertaining again, um, or when we're comfortable starting to entertain again. Uh, I really want this space to, I mean, it's obviously going to look like a craft space, but I want it to be clean and organized and not have a lot of stuff on the walls. I want pretty stuff on the walls, but not like, I don't want rows and rows of punches on the walls. So I really tried to keep everything contained either behind or in baskets or in drawers, you know, so it doesn't look too busy or junky. This drawer, this is my potential overflow for storage. There's a lot of things in here that I just, I just need to use and then they'll be gone. So these are things for like retreats and thank you gifts for customers, just things like that. I've got my cello bags and my transparent envelopes in here. I keep those handy because those are things that I go to often. I've got my baby wipes in here, just random like jars and things that I can use for little neighbor gifts or thank you gifts, that type of thing. Okay, now we'll go across to the right side. Now these top two drawers are mostly business supplies or um, not business, office 
supplies. So I've got extra labels for my label maker, markers, pens, pencils, stamps, personalized stamps, you know, all that kind of stuff in there. And then in this one, we've got clips and post-it notes and page flags and little incentives for my team, uh, those types of thing in here. This bin is full of just random stuff. So I've got some extra things or extra scissors and the spatulas for my paste are in there, um, extra adhesive erasers, my chalk, just random things that I couldn't find a home for. That's in that, those are in that basket. This one is my shipping drawer. So all envelopes, packing tape, and then I've got some paper towel in there as well, just so it's within within reach. This bottom drawer. Now this, this is something I need to work on. This is this some beautiful paper that my secret sister sent me. It's handmade paper from Japan. And I've been saving it because I want to use it on a scrapbook page. Okay, so this drawer. This, isn't this, like look at all that stuff. This is a perfect example of how much these drawers were, will store. Um, so our little six by eight albums, those are standing up. So that's how deep this bottom drawer is. So back here, these are albums that are almost finished. They just have a few things that need to be fixed up or, you know, a little bit of journaling to do and then they'll be done and they can be moved upstairs. And then just most of this stuff is um, non-stampin' up stuff. So it's stuff that I'll use for my personal scrapbooking. And um, yeah, so I need to go through this and kind of organize this a little bit. Well, actually, it's quite well organized. Every, all like products are together. It's really well organized. But I do need to purge a little bit. Um, so that's something that still needs to get done. I've got some paper plates here, and you're probably wondering what those are for. I have, I keep three sizes of paper plates in my studio because when I'm scrapbooking and I want a larger circle, these are perfect to just take a pencil and draw a larger circle and then cut it out. Underneath here, I've got two bins that some of this stuff can actually be stored in there. This top one doesn't have anything in it, but the bottom one has lots of embellishments and things in it. All right, so that's my non-stampin' up drawer. All right, and then we go to this corner. So up here, I need to come up with a little saying or something to put up there. So I've got my Stampin' Up! speaker here so that I can listen to music. This bin is something that I picked up on one of our trips to the U.S. It's got three little baskets. They're all attached or wire bas baskets. And those are projects for upcoming classes. And I've got my scale here for postage. And then all of these drawers, what I do want to do is I want to use some vinyl and cut out like what's inside and label each one of these drawers. I do have some of them labeled with my label maker on the top here, but I don't have them all labeled yet. So this top drawer is all prizes. This next one is stuff for team meetings. This one is for my membership group, which is empty right now. Um, but it's going to be soon be filled up. This is upcoming classes. This is packaging. So most of this is either current Stampin' Up! packaging or recently retired Stampin' Up! packaging. The next one is more packaging, but it's non-Stampin' Up! stuff. So, and I have a lot of packaging because whenever I see anything cute, I pick it up because it's perfect for host gifts or especially for retreats. I do a fair number of retreats. So I always like to pick up those fun things when I see them. Okay, I'm just going to go down a little lower here. All right, this one is my extra tools or my use most often used tools, I guess. So my scoring tool, paper cutter, my mini trimmer, and my stamparatus. This is all photos that need to be scrapbooked, scrapbook layouts that need to have photos added to them. That's a little peek. This scrapbook layout is a little peek at the layout that just went out in this week's membership email. This is a drawer full of notebooks, notepads, and post-it notes. I have a little bit of a th uh, an obsession with notebooks and notepads and post-it notes. <laughs> 
I love them enough that I have a full drawer full. I won't let myself buy anymore. I do use them though. Okay, let me move my garbage here so that I can get the rest open. Okay, so this is packaging for classes. And then this is my silhouette drawer. So all my vinyl and stuff like that, that is in there. And then this bottom drawer is just random things. So extra business cards, there's some clips in here, extra scissors, bone folders, things that I use at classes, and then just, you know, things, other craft things that I use on occasion. So that's that. And then over on this side, okay. So I store my paper in these. It holds my 12 by 12, eight and a half by 11, and then also my scraps. So I used to store my scraps in a filing cabinet drawer, but we don't have room for the filing cabinet. So now I have Ziploc bags and for each color and I store anything that is smaller than eight and a half by 11 in those Ziploc, Ziploc bags. And then here, so this is business supplies, so my catalogs, any orders that I'm waiting for, just other things. This is my DSP. So this is all current Stampin' Up! DSP. I have a bin underneath my countertop that I actually use as a footstool um, with anything that is retired that I want to keep. Like I said, I get rid of most of the stuff that's retired, but if I do love it, I will keep it. And any non-Stampin' Up! paper that is kept in that bin underneath my table as well. Okay, and then these are, you can see I've got lots of albums. So, and that's not even all of them. I have a full calyx upstairs or almost full calyx upstairs with all our finished albums. And then these ones are almost all finished. They have like maybe a handful of, of layouts that need to be finished in there or, you know, spots where journaling needs to be added. I refuse to move the albums that are not complete upstairs until they are complete. That's one of the rules that I have. So if I need more space, I need to just finish some of these albums and move them upstairs and then I will have lots more space. <laughs> that's my, that's my theory anyways. Okay, down at the bottom here, I've got these 31 storage bins, which I need to label. A couple of, of them are labeled from before we moved and I kept them as is, but a couple of them changed. So these are extra Stampin' Up! products. So like extra rhinestones, extra packages of paper, DSP, ink refills, just uh, anything extra. This next one, this is anything that I need for when I go back to in-person classes. So I use these things to display cards. Um, I have my chamois in there. I've got these little dishes that I used for baby wipes back when I was doing in-person classes before we weren't able to. My garbage bins, all of those are in there. In this next one, this is where my extra Christmas, my Christmas overflow goes. So these are the items that carried over in the annual catalog from last year's holiday catalog. Um, and I won't pull them out until I start working on Christmas, then they'll go in my drawer and I'll take some of the stuff from, some of the things from my drawer out to make space. And then my envelope punch board, which I don't think I'll ever get rid of. And then another tool in there. And then in this one, these are projects that I want to do that are not Stampin' Up. They're still craft related, but those are things that I want to get done. And then we go up here, I have a fifth one. This one is just stuff I don't know what to do with. <laughs> so everybody's got that, right? It's kind of like a drunk drawer. All right, and then here I've got this fabulous storage, or not storage, this fabulous bin that's got four, four little areas. So it, it's holding cards that I can use for displays. So these are all current cards. Some of them I've made, some of them I received as swaps. And then here we've got some albums that are, or mini albums that are in progress. My Traveler's Notebook, um, actually two of them. And then I've used some paper pumpkin boxes to store some things. I love the, the specialty boxes. Um, so this is Embroidery Floss. We've got Stampin' Spots. This is an actual card kit. 
And I'm not sure what's in this one. I'm going to have to look at that and label it. And then up at the top, I've got a couple jars with some baker's twine. Because you know I love my baker's twine. I did purge a lot of it. This, this front jar is the only stuff that's current. Everything else is retired or not stamping up, but I just couldn't get rid of it because it, I just love Baker's Twine. Um, and I've got this display. I still, I need to get practice like decorating a tiered tray. I kind of started a Pinterest board with tiered tray ideas and I've um, saved a lot of ideas on Pinterest or on Instagram because I love the look of it, but I'm not very good at it. So I need to practice that. And then just some other decor things. All right, and then almost done. Okay, in the center here, so this is how I craft. I will either craft here or here or both. So usually I will craft here and I have my stamp and cut and emboss and my paper trimmer on this side. And I just go back and forth between the two. This is where I film my videos. So you can see I've got my phone mount, my two paper pumpkin boxes, which hold my laptop when I need my laptop. This bin has my clear blocks and some adhesive that I often use and a box of Kleenex because my nose is always running. And then here, now this is a butcher block island that I picked up at a garage sale years ago. I got it for a steal of a deal of 40 bucks and it is solid. This actual bit right here will actually fold down. So when we have company, everything will get taken off of this and that lip will fold down so that it creates more space in our living space. And don't mind the mess over there. We had a cabinet that we were going to use to put our TV on and store all of our games and stuff like that in. And we couldn't get it down the stairs. So we ended up selling it and we just got, we finally found something that we liked. We ordered it and it just came in yesterday. Um, so that mess will be gone soon. Okay, so here I've got, you know, when I get my dies, I like to do these kinds of things so I can see what the dies look like. So I've got those hanging on a binder ring, hanging off there. My an extra stamparatus is hanging there. And then under here, this is all things stamping, cut, and emboss. So I've got my two machines, my plates, and then in this basket, I have all of my embossing folders, my dies, everything that I have to do with either one of these machines is in this basket. In this blue Tiffany box, I have everything to do with embossing. So it's got my embossing powders, my um, heat tool, anything at all that has to do with embossing is in there. And then I've got my sewing machine and this basket holds some extra display things or if I need to, you know, store some cards or whatever for a, dis a demo that I'm doing, then I use those baskets. Okay, so now, like I said at the beginning of this video, <laughs> I went from an eight to 900 square foot space to about 200 square feet. So obviously not everything that I had fit into this area. This is the stuff that I go to often. This is the stuff that I use over and over and over. And I thought I'd share where my overflow is. So we're just gonna head down the hallway here. And there is a storage room that is my craft overflow. So I'm just gonna step back so you guys can see it. So there is a bookshelf in here with a whole bunch of extra bins of stuff. A lot of this stuff was on display or kind of tucked away. And it's stuff that I can't get rid of because I still use, but I don't use it often enough to have it out in my space. And then there's Rubbermaid totes. There's, well, there's gift wrap. Um, so much stuff. Uh, some of this stuff is for displays as well when I do in-person events and then it goes down. There's a little corner here. So I've got a mixed media bin. I've got like alterables here. Like some of these things, I've got a bin that's just for retreats. So that stuff only comes out when I do retreats. Some is seasonal. So this is my craft overflow. So that is where everything else is stored that will not fit 
into this crafting space. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, if you have any questions about anything, please feel free to post in the comment section and I'm happy to answer them for you. All right, so thanks so much for watching. Take care.